Hey man, I want help. Yeah, tell me, what can I do for you? Can you get me out of this problem? I want to start from the start point and go to the stop point on that track. Do you have something for me? Yeah, I definitely have something for you. See my car. But I can't drive man. Don't worry, it's automatic. Just go and sit on it. Thanks man. That was amazing. Thanks man. Hello everyone. Welcome to Robo Circuits. So you want to know how I made that robot which can follow the line. These type of robots are called as line follower robots. They sense the color on the floor and decide where to go. These are quite easy to make. If you want to know how I made that car keep watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet go and hit the subscribe button. A line follower robot works on a pair of IR sensors or better known as proximity sensors. A proximity sensor can sense the difference between black and white color. The sensor used in this robot are self-made. If you want to make your own, the link to another video is given in the description which will guide you to how to make an IR sensor. And if you want to buy one, the link is given in the description. This video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com the largest manufacturer of PCB boards in China. Just go to jlcpcb.com, upload your Gerber files to order high quality PCBs for your project. The IR sensor PCBs were also ordered from jlcpcb.com and I am highly satisfied with the results. You can get 10 PCBs for $2 only. So what you need to make this project? You will need a chassis with two DC motors, an Arduino Uno board, a motor driver board, two IR sensors and some power source such as a LiPo battery. Let's start the making process. Firstly, stick the two IR sensors on the front of chassis using double sided tape. Now paste the battery, Arduino board and the motor driver board also. Start connecting the connections. Connect the output pins of the sensor with analog 0 and analog 1 of the Arduino board. Then connect the 6 input pins of the motor driver board with the digital pin starting from pin number 8 to pin number 30. Make sure to connect the enable pins with the PWM pins. If you want to see the tutorial of the motor driver, the link is given in the description so that you can better understand the working of the motor driver board. Now connect the positive and ground pin of sensor and the Arduino board in the motor driver 5 volts and ground. After this is done, connect the DC motor with the motor driver board and that is done. Let's see how it works. Whenever any sensor passes through the black color, it moves the car to the opposite side so that it again get to the white color. Hence, due to this feature, it always makes itself to the white color. Hence, it follows the black line between the two sensors and make it path through. Oh, 
I think you understand everything. If you still have any question, feel free to ask in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.